Hey guys, welcome to another episode of me rambling over footage of Prague. In this episode, we will be taking a walk around Prague Castle. We will check out Prague's Eiffel Tower alternative, eat the best shawarma in town, ride a bike and much more. So let's get right into it. Now, before we start, I want to share a little tip with you. Many tourists take the king's route when getting to the castle, which means squeezing through tiny alleys with other tourists and what's worse, climbing uphill. And it's not exactly a small hill. So if you're smart like me, you can simply take the tram number 22 and exit at the Kralovsky Letohradek tram stop. And you will appear right here in the Kralovsky Letohradek. Before they let you enter, they will very thoroughly check out all of your stuff. Just in case you go, this walk has been fun and all, but I really feel like assassinating someone right now. Inside, you will get to see magnificent views of Prague, a couple of magnificent buildings and this magnificent peacock. This is the Saint Vitus Cathedral and probably the most baller building around here. The story of why there is a giant cathedral in the middle of this castle complex went something like this. Good morning, Charles IV. It's Sunday. You need to go to church. Ah, uh, but it's far and there's peasants everywhere. Can't you just build me a church here? Uh, I mean, uh, you're the king, so I guess, yeah. And there you have it, the largest cathedral in Czech Republic, right in the middle of the largest castle complex in the world. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm no castle expert. I even made up that story you just heard. So instead of improvising the entire history of Prague Castle, I'm gonna search for some fun facts about Prague and see if they make me laugh. Meanwhile, you can look at these magnificent views of Prague. Fun facts. 33 fun facts about Prague to make you fall in love with it. Okay, let's do it. If I laugh, I lose. Czechs are the world champions of beer consumption per capita. Prague's pork knuckle is finger licking good. Well, not for me. Prague was the first post-communist city to have a Michelin star restaurant. Okay, not fun, but cool. Maybe we should go check it out. Prague's narrowest street is just 20 inches or 50 centimeters wide. That's interesting. The Prague castle is the third largest in the world. It's the largest by the land area. So numerous famous people lived or performed in Prague. I almost laughed. In Prague, you can find a graffiti wall dedicated to John Lennon, the largest club in Central Europe is in Prague. Didn't laugh, but that sounds fun. 34 bridges straddle the Vltava River. That's pretty cool. 34 is a lot of bridges. Now a quick break. After you walk around the castle, you'll probably feel like having a snack or a drink. My favorite place to do just that is called Kuchyň. It's kinda hidden, so just Google it. It offers more of those amazing views, but they also let you sit down and relax for a bit. I also think the prices are pretty fair, especially considering you're right next to the castle. If you've had your snack break, go check out the Petsheen Tower, which is adjacent to the Petsheen Hill. It also offers great views. I mean, it's a lookout tower on a hill, so yeah. Okay, let's go to a different side. You can go to a beer spa. <laughs> Bizarre legend behind Prague's astronomical clock tower. It's not a fact. Prague is home to the world's second ugliest building. I don't think it's that ugly. The city's best views are from Petsheen Tower, where I'm taking you. Prague was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1992. <laughs> the TV tower of Prague has crawling babies up it. I think that's cool. And it's also kind of fun. The man charged with creating the Prague astronomical clock had his eyes burned. This is a cool fact though. It's not fun, but it's cool. I think we're running out of facts. We need more fun! Another tip. If you want to leave this place in style, take the funicular. Funicular. That. It's a lot of fun and it's pretty cheap too. One way ride is 30 crown. And if you have the public transport card, it's even cheap because it's free. You can actually do this trip the other way around. Take a ride up the hill and then walk to Prague Castle. I'm pretty sure you're hungry by now. I know I am. That's why we should go grab something to eat at Original Shawarma. There is many shawarmas in Prague, but there is only one original shawarma. And it's on Vodičkova Street, right next to Vodičkova tram stop. Order a shawarma plate, pay 160 crowns for it, then wait 10 minutes to get it. Then take the tram number six and finally reveal what's in the box. What's in the box? It's delicious, hot, juicy, tasty, salty, crunchy shawarma. Look at this plate. Now look at me. Now look me in the eyes and tell me you don't want to put this in your mouth unless you're vegetarian. Included in the price of this plate is this delicious shawarma. Portion of fries with garlic mayo and these weird pickled and non-pickled vegetables. Warning, Middle Eastern pickles are salty, not sour, but they're also very addictive. That was good, right? Now go to sleep. Now wake up. You think one day trip a weekend is enough? Of course you don't, you adventurous animal.
That's why you will take the public transport and get to the zoo. Don't worry, you don't need to buy a ticket because your friends are the only animals you will be seeing today. I recommend taking the red metro line and then switching to the bus number 112. But who cares? Move to the Troya Palace and walk around its gardens. Pretty boring, right? What did you expect? It's just a garden. This is a pretty cool statue though. Other than that, all the gardens in front of these dead rich people houses look the same. What a waste of space. You can't even chill on the grass because the bushes around it are impenetrable. You can only sit on a bench and look at these tulips. Pretty boring, right? F it. Let's go see the real nature. The one where animals live. Ooh, yeah. That's better. Now walk around until you find a place where Czech bikers get their beers and snacks. Get jealous of the bikers and get your own bike, thanks to Rekola. You don't like them because they're pink? Shut up, you little b**** it's 2022 no one cares your bike is pink it's super cool affordable and easy to use you just need to download the app and register do you have litachka that's great because you get 15 minutes for free twice a day do you have a multi-sport card that's even better you get one hour for free every day now bike look at this road it's amazing look at this nature it's amazing look at this guy he's having a good time enjoying the nature look at this guy he's on his phone not enjoying the nature look at this mountain it's gigantic look at this tennis ball it's gigantic. Look at this river. It's reflecting the sunlight. Look at this beast. He's Georgian. Look at your left hand. There's a bell. It goes. Look at this lady. She's quick as f Look at these bikes. They need to be returned in dedicated zones. I wanted Vlada to take some shots of me riding the bike. This is all the footage we've made. I also have this footage from my pocket. Seriously. This has been an amazingly fun and adventurous day. I recommend you to get off the beaten track when you visit Prague and explore the surrounding areas. I know I am going to, and I will share whatever I see with you right here on this channel. So feel free to subscribe if you want to, or just leave a like. The real question is, did we get something to eat after this biking extravagant? Only the two best dishes in the world, pizza and sushi at the same time. What an amazing way to end this amazing weekend. I almost forgot that at the time I was stressed as f finishing my thesis and I only needed to ask for help from three separate people. But other than that, amazing. And if you see me ever say amazing again, you can punch me in the face. Thank you so much for spending some time with me again. I appreciate it. And I hope you're having an amazing weekend or a week. And I hope you're staying strong. And I wish that everything will work out for you. And uh, don't text your ex and uh, be strong and uh, I miss you, call me.